Hi, I'm Wendy Weir, and I'm with Libra Tea, and I'm here to welcome you to our Monday Tea Moment. I uh, know that this is a, an incredibly important thing because I tell you it's really come to rest this morning. It seems like my to-do list for this morning is awfully large, so I was really glad to have this opportunity to go for a Tea Moment. I'm in a park in LA, and so there'll probably be a little noise as people are going by me. I'll show you that in just a second, but for now, I'd really like to, let's have a tea moment. Please, if you just, as long as you're not driving or doing anything like that, please shut your eyes for a minute and take a breath into your belly. And a nice big long one, and then exhale and letting it go and letting all the worries any kind of troubles that uh, you seem to have, just let them go and let them out with the breath. Let's do it again. <sighs> they say that if you make a noise on the way out, like a nice big sigh or an audible gasp of some sort, uh, it really helps to bring out even more of any of the tensions that you may have accumulated. And yes, it's um, still only Monday morning on the West Coast, but uh, these weeks get off to a flying start. Even if it is President's Day here in the US, doesn't seem like a lot of people are on holiday. Seems like there's a lot going on. So, I hope you are feeling a bit more settled. I certainly am. I wanted to show you this beautiful park that I'm at this morning. It's called the Echo Lake Park, and it is a beautiful lake within LA. And down there, I think you should be able to see actually a fountain. And uh, there you go. There's people out on paddle boats and other things like that. And uh, so just coming back here, They've done a beautiful job at planting, and so I've got a couple of really nice birds of paradise with me this morning. So what I wanted to talk to you about was I came to a realization on the weekend about tea moments. And that is that these tea moments really, yes, they do find our peaceful place inside. And so what is that about? That is really the place that resides so deep within us that often it's layered over by the troubles of the day, the accumulations of habits from a lifetime, but it's our job to go in and to find that peace because it's from that place of peace that our own truth can be heard, can be felt, and sometimes even can be seen. So that's the truth of tea moments, I realized. Yes, we're finding this lovely place of inner peace. And sometimes that is a challenge when we're in a busy place, we're on a busy schedule. And uh, I must say that uh, we have really got a lot going on in this busy civilization. But to come back to these tea moments, to come back inside, to find that place of peace, it's that place of peace and quietness where we'll actually discover our truth. And it's that place of peace and quietness in a tea moment that we can actually get to on an everyday basis. You know, if, if you sit down for a little bit longer, even five or 10 minutes and close the eyes and take some deep breaths and go inside, you'll find that place of peace. And if you visit it more often during the day, you'll find it that much more quickly when you sit down to have maybe a bit longer time for yourself. But as you clear your mind and allow your thoughts to disperse, to let them go, and to find that place of peace inside. It's our own truth that emerges. It's in the silence. And the silence is the foundation of the place of peace. So I invite you to find your place of peace every day with a tea moment. We've talked before about even starting the day with a brief meditation 
or a tea moment. Sometimes even before you get out of bed with a, with a hand on the heart and just being grateful for another day of uh, opportunity to uh, do something different maybe. But meanwhile, the tea moments, as you visit them throughout your day, I invite you to every once in a while take a longer stop for a tea moment because it's in that longer stop for a tea moment that's once we've pla practiced finding this place of inner peace, we can actually find our own truth in that silence. I was in Ojai in California, just north of Los Angeles this weekend, and that's a beautiful spiritual place. Krishnamurti has his house there. Byron Katie, who does the work, she also has her, her office there. The Agora Foundation, an alternative newspaper. Very interesting spot, full of artists, full of music. And uh, that was certainly a place of peace. And it's up to us to find our own place of peace inside because it's not dependent on external circumstances. It's dependent on our willingness to come in and actually visit our own place of peace and practice being here. So I leave you with that. I invite you to come in, find your place of peace, find a tea moment in the day where you can take a big breath in and a beautiful breath out, letting go of the days, troubles, worries, anything you've got on your mind. And meanwhile, find that place of peace inside and with more practice and more time, your own truth that underlies the being of who you really are, not all that you've accumulated from the personality. So I invite you, practice your tea moments. Find that place of peace, because every time we become more peaceful, we can become more peaceful in our world and the kind of energy that we emanate. And that is an awesome bonus. Have a great week. Thanks for joining me for this tea moment. Wendy Weir, signing off from Libra Tea. Free to have a tea moment anywhere, anytime.